So for the last fortnight, I've been using the Xiaomi 12 Pro Super Premium Flagship Smartphone as my full-time personal handset, or my daily driver in YouTube tech dickhead language. And if you're a wee bit bored, you might be looking for an alternative to the Samsung Galaxy S22s, the iPhone 13s, all those other premium priced smartphones right now, well, maybe give this one a shot. The Xiaomi 12 Pro is stacked with premium hardware from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset and that gorgeous Dolby Vision AMOLED display to the triple 50 meg camera setup that can take on those Sami and Apple smartphones, no worries. However, while Xiaomi's main USP used to be putting out affordable flagship phones, unfortunately the 12 Pro will cost you 999 US dollars, which means it'll be the best part of a grand when it does land here in Blighty. So is that actually worth that sky high price? And what is the everyday experience like? Well, here's my full Xiaomi 12 Pro review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So let's start with that rather dapper design. And while the Xiaomi 12 Pro won't exactly be turning heads with any outlandish frills or unique aesthetics, it is a smartly dressed blow that could actually pass as some kind of business phone, especially in this here grey hue. Great news if you're one of those suit wankers. The Pro sports a metal frame and Gorilla Glass Victus finish front and back as well. And the great news is even a couple of weeks on with plenty of abuse, this thing has not got any scratches, scuffs or other damage. And that matte finish on the back end does a bang up job of repelling any greasy prints and the like as well. So this thing is pretty much still box fresh. The 12 Pro is pretty bloody big at a sniff of over 6.7 inches, so you're going to have to go in there with two hands unless you've got mitts the size of the Hulks, especially as it is a fairly slippery wee blighter as well, but the 205 gram weight isn't outrageous compared with some other flagships. One of the big drawbacks though of the Xiaomi 12 Pro's design is there's no official IP rated for water and dust resistance, unlike pretty much every other flagship smartphone out there so it's absolutely fine if you you know give it a bit of a splashing but it was far too much of a bust to actually dunk it underwater in case that absolutely bollocks it. On the software side what you have here is that fresh Android 12 feeling with Xiaomi's own MIUI 13 launcher stuck there on top and it is a potent combination. We're not quite talking fish and chips or beer and pork scratchings here but it's definitely at the very least a dick and dom. I do have a few wee complaints on the software side though, so for instance, despite the fact you've got Android 12, you can't actually change up the colour of the UI based on the wallpaper you're currently rocking, which is one of the main features that Google just brought in. And when I first set up the phone, it took a fair bit of tinkering to actually get the app notifications taken through in a timely manner as well, but that's something that I've kind of got used to on Xiaomi phones. And then, as usual, you've got tons of crapware bundled on there from the off as well, so you'll have to go through manually uninstalling all the stuff you really can't be arsed with. But apart from these minor bollocks, I've got to say that MIUI did behave itself remarkably well here on the Xiaomi 12 Pro, following a massive four gigabyte system update when I first uh, set it all up, that is. In the two weeks I've been using it full time, I've literally seen one tiny little stumble where basically the launcher kind of forgot what it was supposed to be doing, minor bit of brain freeze happens to the best of us, and then it sorted itself out and just got on with its day. Oh, and also Xiaomi doesn't seem to have quite sorted out the whole palm intrusion thing as well, because you've got that curved screen, it just bends ever so slightly around the edges, and I found that any scenario where I was lying on my back, so, you know, lounging around in bed or on the sofa or on the floor if I'd had a few too many and taken a bit of a tumble. In those instances, I did find I had to grip the phone a little bit harder than usual, and therefore the screen went a little bit wonky and occasionally was selecting stuff that I really did not want to happen. Speaking of that screen though, it is a proper stunner to rival any flagship out there for sheer eye candy. The spacious 6.73 inch size means watching movies, playing games, all of that jazz is perfectly comfortable, while the AMOLED tech really delivers as far as sharp contrast and poppy colours go. You've actually got Dolby Vision as well as HDR10 Plus support, and those visuals are beautifully realistic, especially if you bump up the resolution to that maximum WQHD Plus level and stream some ultra high def video. And on top of that as well, it's also LTPO tech, so basically the full refresh range from 1Hz all the way up to 120Hz is supported and can dynamically adjust to suit whatever you're up to. So basically in every possible way, the Xiaomi 12 Pro's display is one of the best out there. Now according to Xiaomi, this blower boasts a total of four speakers, although media is only blasted out of two edge-mounted grills plus that earpiece. Audio spaffage isn't quite a match for front firing speakers on gaming handsets like the ROG phone, but I still enjoyed the crisp and reasonably loud output, helped by the dual tweeter and woofer setup, and possibly that hormone cordon 
fine tuning, which even warrants a bit of branding up top apparently. All of this isn't quite good enough to make music sound decent of course, and the Xiaomi 12 Pro is jackless as usual, but I had zero issues when streaming to speakers or headphones with the Bluetooth 5.2 support, along with a good bit of Dolby Atmos action. Although the Xiaomi 12 Pro did continuously badger me to stop listening to music on my headphones and because it damaged my hearing. Well jokes on you mate, my hearing's already proper f***ed. Although it also had a go at me uh, for listening to music on my headphones when I was actually just streaming to a speaker instead, so I'm not sure what that's all about. And on the performance side, well, as you'd kind of hope and expect when you're spunking out this much cash on a new blower, there's no issues there whatsoever. You've got Qualcomm's top-end Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 stuffed inside of this thing. Connectivity is flawless with its Wi-Fi 6E and its 5G support. And of course, the everyday running is just battery smooth. And gaming on the Xiaomi 12 Pro has been joyous for this past two weeks. Like other Gen 1 handsets, the Pro can absolutely crotch thrust its way through any title out there, even Genshin with maxed out graphics at 60 frames per second. It's not utterly flawless, of course you'll see a couple of weedy little frame rate dips here and there, but overall it's very fluid, very impressive stuff, especially when you've been gaming for an hour or two. Xiaomi's liquid core tech keeps those internals from spontaneously combusting and the performance from throttling. Meanwhile, the Pro's mighty screen is pleasingly responsive with its 480Hz touch sampling support and you've got the usual excellent selection of gaming tools laid out finally in a smart and intuitive manner. However, it's not all good news unfortunately with the Xiaomi 12 Pro. So for instance, the battery is only a mite bigger than the regular Xiaomi 12 despite the fact that this thing is an absolute freaking behemoth. 4,600 milliamps and I did find that the battery life was not as strong as a lot of rivals out there, especially the Oppo Find X5 Pro which I only just reviewed. On one of my busiest days these past two weeks for instance, I found that the Xiaomi 12 Pro was dead by about 6pm and that was only with around 5 hours of screen on time. I didn't exactly go super nuts with this thing, although there was a fair bit of Deezer streaming in the background as well. But compared with how that Find X5 Pro performed, the Pixel 6 Pro as well, I definitely found this thing drained a lot faster and most evenings I was squ weaken it into bed with just maybe a couple of percent left. And I do get the feeling that some of this battery drain is down to maybe some software quirks, some fine tuning is possibly needed just in the back end. Uh, so for instance, one day I found that the Wi-Fi was one of the main culprits for killing the battery faster than usual. So hopefully these little problems can be sorted out and the battery life can be improved over time with various OTAs. The good news is though is if you do need to do an emergency top up on the go, well you've got 120 watt wired charging support here on the Xiaomi 12 Pro and 50 watt wireless charging as well, so literally plug it in for 10 minutes and you're pretty much good to go again. Now while the regular Xiaomi 12 packs that popular Sony IMX766 sensor also found on big rivals like the Oppo Find X5 Pro, this blower here upgrades to another 50 meg Sony sensor, the IMX707. Some extremely fascinating numbers there for you, but the big question is, is the Xiaomi 12 Pro actually any good for snapping everyday pics? Well, you certainly get some good looking shots out of this thing on full auto, even when the lighting isn't ideal. However, do not expect natural looking photos like you get from the Oppo flagship or the Pixel 6 series. The Xiaomi 12 Pro tends to boost colour tones to make everything look a bit more vibrant, regardless of whether you leave the AI on or knock it right off. Personally, I appreciated some of the more vivid results, but it would have been nice to have the option to capture a punchy pic or something a bit more natural. No complaints at all when I was shooting living subjects, especially those who tend to leap about as if several parts of their anatomy had suddenly burst into flame. The 12 Pro boasts eye tracking as well as motion tracking focus and this works beautifully, keeping even rapidly departing children and pets as sharp as possible at all times. At night, when you're snapping away in darker environments, the Xiaomi flagship again proves one of the best around right now. Image capture usually only takes a second or two, processing is just as quick, and you're left with a bright photo boasting impressive detailing and minimal grain. However, I will say that the regular Xiaomi 12 also does a bang up job in those low light scenarios courtesy of that IMX766. I've actually done some side by side camera comparisons in my Xiaomi 12 unboxing with that and the Pro if you want to see the difference between them. The Pro tends to produce slightly brighter photos with a bit less grain in those low light scenarios but there's not a massive gulf of difference between them. You also have a 50 meg ultra wide angle shooter that you can swap to for a more pulled back view with similar visual results and only a wee bit of distortion around the edges. And last up, the 50 meg telephoto shooter offers a basic 2x optical zoom, the same as the Oppo Find X5 Pro but inferior to quite a few flagships out there. It's still more than good enough for getting artificially closer to your subject without disturbing them though, although don't expect sharp returns if you punch in above the 10 times level. 
That said, the Xiaomi 12 Pro does serve up a supermoon mode which can be used to snap that big ball of rock dangling in the sky with impressive clarity, if that happens to tweak your wing nuts. So far, so good, and I also appreciated the video results spaffed out by the Xiaomi 12 Pro. You've got 8K recording chops if you're into all of that. Personally, I kept the phone set at 4K resolution where you can capture footage at 30 or 60 frames per second. And you've even got an HDR10 Plus option when dealing with dodgy contrast. Stabilization is strong, tracking is once again dependable, and even when the lighting ain't great, you can expect respectable detail packed into every frame. An audio pickup also gets a thumbs up, so overall, lovely stuff. And hey, up front you've got a 32 megapixel selfie shooter, which is a good one for your Instagrammable moments if you don't mind sharing every bag and wrinkle with the world. Although you've got the usual beauty mode guff if you'd rather look like a shot mannequin. And again, at night, no worries, the 12 Pro does a solid job. And using that 32 meg selfie shooter, you can capture full HD footage at 30 or 60 frames per second, no 4K options sadly, but absolutely fine for your vlogging needs, especially as, again, that audio capture is strong. So that right there is what I think of the Xiaomi 12 Pro after using it as my full-time smartphone for a couple of weeks. And it is kind of a shame that Xiaomi's flagships are no longer the more affordable option compared with the Samsungs and the Apples of the world. But thankfully the Xiaomi 12 Pro justifies its sky-high price by being pretty bloody good in basically almost every way. You've got some seriously premium tech on here. The software experience I found certainly was enjoyable. The camera is fantastic, one of the best out there. It's just the battery life. If Xiaomi can somehow magically sort that out in an update, then brilliant. Otherwise, personally, I'd rather go with something like the Pixel 6 Pro, which has the more dependable battery life. You can also capture more natural looking pics and it's a bit cheaper. But anywho, that's what I reckon. What do you guys think? Are you tempted by the Xiaomi 12 Pro? Definitely be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Got you a full Xiaomi 12 unboxing. I've got a review of the new Xiaomi watches, all kinds of shenanigans going live at the moment because they, they launched a lot of bloody stuff. Um, but yeah, have yourselves a good one and see you next time. Bye, love you.